In this video, we're gonna cover the top five reasons why we think people are leaving California and heading here to Arizona. So stay tuned. What's up everybody, this is Greg Corbett with the AZ Lifestyle Group right here in Phoenix, Arizona. If this is your first time to this channel and you're looking to find out everything you need to know about what it's like living in and or moving to the Phoenix metro area, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. We are helping people from all over when it comes to finding the best places and neighborhoods to live here and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating and you need any assistance whatsoever, Give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when it comes to moving to the Phoenix Metro. All right, so it's no secret that Arizona has continuously been one of the top places to move within the US. It seems like there's a new headline about it every single day. There are a million reasons why it's been a big draw for people from all over the country, but the one state that we tend to pull the most from seems to be California. So today we're just gonna break down the top five reasons on why that is. So let's get right into it and jump into reason number one, uh, which is definitely the most obvious, but you can't ignore it, which is the cost of living. And even with all the growth and the increase in cost of living that Arizona has experienced over the past 10 years, it's still not even close. Now, I think it's important to know that when we're talking about the huge disparity in cost of living, we are primarily talking about the coastal areas of California. LA, San Francisco, San Diego, Orange County, Silicon Valley, all the places that are uh, so popular for so many reasons with the main one being they're right there on the water. So obviously that is a huge factor that you have to consider. But overall, the crazy costs are driving people away and I think people are finding a lot of affordability here in the valley. So let's look at the numbers and break down what we generally see. And I found a few graphics that I think do a good job of painting a pretty accurate picture for us. So if we pull up graphic number one that we found on Property Shark, you'll see that California has 91 of the top 100 most expensive zip codes in the entire country. And then if you look over at Arizona, you'll see that there is one, which is 85253 in Paradise Valley which came in ranked tied for 93rd for most expensive in the country. Now let's look at graphic number two, which shows the top 10 zip codes just in California. So again, we're talking about the coastal areas here, but if you look at some of these median home values, I mean, basically you've got the lowest um, right down at 2.9 million at number 10, and then the high at just over 7 million as a median home value uh, up there in 94027, which I think is the Atherton area. And then you compare that to our number one here in Arizona, which uh, in Paradise Valley, the median home cost is 1.46 million. Remember all the hype we had just a few weeks ago during the NFL draft when they showed that picture of Cliff Kingsbury sitting in his living room at his house? Well, that was in Paradise Valley, but if you start comparing these numbers, it seems like you got a pretty good deal. But for those of you out there watching who maybe aren't from the Bay Area and are not gonna be moving to Paradise Valley, here are a few other numbers that are important. So let's bring up the home buying map for the entire country and just focus on California and Arizona. So even when you compare some of the inland areas and some of the less expensive areas of California, the Phoenix Metro is still much more affordable and offers tremendous value for anyone who's looking to make a change. And really it's not just housing that's more expensive. You've got higher transportation costs, food costs, entertainment costs, childcare, healthcare, et cetera. The list goes on and on. And then you top it off with higher sales tax, income tax, excise taxes, and you're really getting dinged from all over. Trust me, I was born in California and there are so many things that I do love about it, but from a cost perspective, it's just much easier to go and visit. All right, so let's move on to reason number two, which is another easy one, but definitely a huge factor, which is traffic. And I'm sure traffic actually hasn't been that bad over the last few months considering everybody's been on lockdown. But looking at it from what we've seen in the past and more than likely probably in the near future as well, it continues to be a major problem for the majority of its residents. And it's not just about inconvenience. The amount of traffic has caused three main problems. Poor air quality, longer commute times, and more traffic accidents. So if we look at the stats and a few headlines again, there's no question how big of a problem it has become. And then we get into the residual effects that we were talking about.
So how does Arizona look and compare to all this? Well, we're not perfect by any stretch. But if you look at Phoenix, which is our biggest city, we only rank at number 43 for worst traffic in the entire country versus California, which has six cities in the top 20 and three in the top five. So is the traffic around the area here great? Probably not, but I think in comparing to what people are seeing in California, it is a huge improvement. All right, so on to reason number three, which is the natural disasters. So this is another subject that continues to be a bigger and bigger challenge for California every year. And honestly, it's terrible and it's been really sad to see. But it's crazy to see all the devastating wildfires they have had over the past few years, along with all the communities and families that have been affected. And then it seems the fires have led to these crazy mudslides and those have caused even more destruction. And all that before you even start talking about potential earthquakes. So there are a lot of people that have to worry about these things every year and hope and pray that it doesn't come to their neighborhood. Now, does Arizona have its share of wildfire issues as well? To a certain extent, yes, but rarely to the same magnitude and community effect that we're seeing so often in California. All right, next up is reason number four, which are the government taxes and regulations. And this is one I usually hear most about from business owners. Now, we talked about the high taxes a little bit when we were going through the cost of living. But on top of those, it seems like California is creating a lot of policies and regulations which have not been helpful to some of the small to mid-sized businesses and even some of the larger ones as well. And that's pushing a lot of them to move out of the state altogether. And where are they going? Well, the top three places are Texas, Nevada, and of course, here in Arizona. And why are they coming here? Much friendlier regulations, lower taxes, access to quality workers, and just an overall better way of life. And when the businesses are coming, a lot of quality people follow along and the cycle continues. And based on the current environment we are seeing, I would imagine that cycle of movement for both people and companies will continue on for the foreseeable future. All right, so on to reason number five, which is the homeless problem. And similar to the natural disasters, this is an issue that is just really sad to talk about. But like we've seen in our previous topics, it's an issue in California that just keeps getting worse. Now, there's a lot of blame to go around, and if you're the type of person that wants to pick a side, feel free. That's definitely not my thing. But I can tell you, no matter who you think is responsible, it has had a lot of negative effects on so many people and their families. And if you look at other states, including us here in Arizona, we just tend to have a better system on how to help people. None of us are perfect, but the numbers will tell you everything you need to know. All right, so there are definitely a few other reasons uh, that have some influence on why people are making the move here. But overall, I think these five tend to be the top ones that I hear the most. And to be fair, I still have lots of friends and family who still enjoy living in California. I definitely uh, still enjoy going out there to visit. And there are just so many reasons why it's so popular. But for those of you out there who are considering making a change, hopefully we were able to guide you a little bit. Arizona can definitely have its own challenges as well, but there are a lot of things to love about it. And I guarantee if you find someone who has already moved from California, they will tell you a ton of different reasons on why they love it as well. So if you're thinking about making a move to the Phoenix area, but aren't sure which neighborhood or city might be the best fit for you, make sure to check out some of our other videos so we can share that information. We are doing a ton of videos to spotlight all the areas around Metro Phoenix. So if you think these videos might be helpful for you or anyone you know who might be looking to move here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. And as always, we are working with so many people from all over when it comes to finding the best places and neighborhoods to live here, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating and you need any assistance whatsoever, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when it comes to moving to the Phoenix Metro. Thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you on the next video. Thank you.